It is a pleasure to be speaking to you all today for the BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition 2021. This competition continues to grow year on year and never fails to inspire. While using a virtual platform this year is a bit different, the essential aim of showcasing some of the brightest, innovative and creative minds in the country has not been lost to COVID-19. This year's virtual exhibition is coming to you from the Mansion House, where the first ever exhibition was held back in 1965. Congratulations to BT and the Young Scientist team under Shea and Mary, who have pulled this event together despite all of the obstacles. The diversity of the entries this year shows that the vision for STEM education is being realised in schools throughout the country, hugely helped by events such as this. Despite the pandemic's disruption to your lives and your schooling, 1,300 of you entered this competition, researched, studied, theorised, innovative and created. This fills me with an immense sense of pride and hope. You are an inspiration to us all. This year we have seen how important scientists and technologists are to solving our global problems, to enhancing our living conditions and helping us to adapt more rapidly to crisis. The strength of our scientific community has developed vaccines and will give us new treatments for COVID-19. It is through technology that we've been able to bridge the social distance we've been faced with. We will always need more scientists, more technologists, more engineers. If all of you participating in this event continue in the STEM fields, I feel that our future is in safe hands. The government is committed to the implementation of the STEM education policy statement 2017 to 2026 under the Department of Education. If we get it right, it will make Ireland a leader in nurturing, developing and deploying STEM talent. Gender balance in STEM is a key area of focus. And you will remember this was the subject of last year's winning project by Alan O'Sullivan and Cormac Harris from Cláis de Chulum in Cork. The main theme of the project entries this year are topics related to healthcare and the impact of COVID-19. Other themes include the prevalence of social media and technology, ethnicity, gender studies, domestic abuse and sexual assault, sports science and socioeconomic challenges. 550 of the very best of these projects were shortlisted by the judging panel to take part in the finals. I am delighted to see also that these entries come from 213 schools across the entire country. I have no doubt that this event will be just as successful as previous years and will continue to place STEM on the national agenda. A new exhibition portal has been specifically designed and built by BT and it means we can showcase all 1,300 entries and you can enjoy STEM-focused shows and talks, visit partner stands and watch the opening and awards ceremonies live. All content will be shown during three days of the virtual exhibition and will be available to view free of charge on the portal until the end of January 2021. This will provide a rich experience for both participants and the public at home and abroad and may reach an even bigger audience than ever before. I would like to congratulate each and every one of you for being part of this exhibition. You are all contributing to a better future, not least through your invaluable promotion of STEM amongst your peers. I wish each of you the very best in this competition. The standard is very high, so choosing a winner will not be an easy task. I look forward to watching your continued achievements in the coming months and years. Go to Mila Mila Mahagwiv Galair, Agus Ganairoig, and Talif.